Hey guys, it is Danny, and I'm here with the latest on the tropics. So in the EPAC, we do have what is now our third depression of the season, expected to become our name storm Carlos very soon, and then over in the Gulf of Mexico, we have that area of disturbed weather given a medium chance of becoming our next tropical cyclone, guys. And so our models are still anticipating this to be a threat to the Gulf Coast and to also probably achieve tropical storm status. And so before I go into details... Okay guys, so let us first kickstart things with our new depression. So we have depression 3E and it currently has maximum sustained winds at 35 miles per hour and it is accelerating westward at around 9 miles per hour. So we're expecting this continued westward movement, then we're expecting to be moving a bit to the southwest and then make a turn up to the north beginning by about Tuesday. So we're not expecting this to become a hurricane as of right now, but we are expecting it to eventually become our name storm guys and so in satellite's view it is looking quite organized at this time not the complete best but it is going to be getting there eventually guys and so fortunately this thing is not a threat to land and so now let's go on over into the Atlantic Basin and so here we have the disturbance given a 40% chance as of 2 p.m. this afternoon to develop into our next tropical cyclone and so it is in the Bay of Campeche in the Gulf and so this is really going to be moving very slowly and erratic meaning that it's just going to be all over the place it has no set track so with that and the potential for it to develop it's going to be enhancing the rainfall across sections of Mexico and other areas of Central America and then eventually we're expecting this thing to make landfall along the Gulf Coast states if it does develop. So let's see what our models are anticipating. And so first up, here we have the GFS model and so it is expecting that we're going to be having that low pressure area, probably a depression by sometime on Tuesday. Going further out, we see that this system is not looking the best in terms of organization but the pressure has definitely dropped which means there's probably an increase in wind speeds so probably a name storm by sometime on friday the 18th of june and so going further out to sunday the 20th of june we see that this system here is quite disorganized and we see that most of the Gulf Coast states are being affected and so eventually the model is showing it moving out into the Atlantic but is going to be a rainmaker for portions of the southeastern United States. And so let's go on to CMC and it, here we have this 1001 millibar low pressure system by Saturday the 19th of June. CMC is showing this thing looking a lot better organized than GFS and eventually showing it's moving inland and making its way out so if you're along the gulf coast states or in the southeastern u.s you might be impacted by this system if it does develop guys and so guys on satellite view we're not seeing any sorts of organization but we do have an area of cloudiness with showers and thunderstorms to watch that is in the gulf and that is really what the disturbance is so as time goes by we can expect that this thing here could develop but we're not anticipating a significant tropical cyclone from it guys and so guys that is it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and of course i'll keep you updated as time goes by